Reds hosting the Cardinals, and both of these teams are minus 110 on the money line. The over-under is nine and a half runs. The Cardinals getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 190, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you'd win. They lose by one, you win. And the Reds laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 158, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by a minimum of two. These are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. Thank you for everyone who has joined the Discord. If you have not yet, go to my website, rawsportstalk.com. Click on the membership tab and you'll see the membership that's $14.99. That's the one that has my Discord. It'll have my best bets. So far for the MLB today, I am 4-0 and probably going to go 5-0 as long as the Giants bullpen doesn't blow the lead tonight. Now, McCullough's pitched twice against the Reds this year. Seven shutout innings. They won that game 2-1. That was in Cincinnati and he struck out five. And then six innings, five runs. Five earned. They lost that game eight to four, and he struck out two. He's got an ERA of 4.4 in his last five starts. He's averaging five and two thirds innings pitched and three strikeouts per game in those games. They've won his last two starts, and the over is three, one, and one in his last five starts. In his last three starts against the Reds, the Reds won the last one eight to four. The Cardinals won the game before that two to one, and then the Reds won the game before that three to two. The under is two and one in those games. He averages six and a third innings pitched, five point seven hits, two point seven earned runs, three point three strikeouts, one point seven walks, a one, uh, not even a full home run because he gave up two home runs in one game, and then ninety eight pitches. For Green. He pitched once against the Cardinals this year. Five and a third, three runs, three earned. They won that game four to three. That was in St. Louis. They are three and two as a team in his last five starts. He's averaging four and two thirds innings pitched, 5.2 strikeouts per game in those games with an ERA of 3.6. The Reds are one and two in his last three starts against the Cardinals. They won the last one four to three, lost one nothing, and then lost seven to three. The under has hit in his last two starts against them. He averages five and a third innings pitched, five hits, 2.3 earned runs, 8.7 strikeouts, 1.7 walks, and then 91.7 pitches. So the 8.7 strikeouts is probably the reason why the car the Reds are the favorite or the Cardinals are the underdog, however you want to spin that. Head to head, the road team is on a four-game winning streak. The road team is seven and three. The Cardinals are on a two-game winning streak. These teams are five and five against each other in their last ten. The underdog is six and four on the money line, and the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is eight and two. There have been four one-run games in their last ten meetings. The over is six and four in their last ten, and the over nine and a half runs is also six and four in their last ten. And for those meteorologists in the crowd, the wind will be blowing out at 5.8 miles per hour pretty much for the duration of the game, so it's not going to be anything catastrophic to the outcome of the game. The last two games they've played, the Cardinals have won 4-3 and 9-4. The two previous to that, the Reds won 4-3 and 8-4. And then the two previous to that, the Cardinals won 7-4 and 2-1. The Cardinals are 7-3 in their last 10. They are 5-1 in their last 6. The over is 7-2-1 in their last 10. And the over has hit in their last 2, 4, 6, 7 games that they've played. For the Reds, they are 5-5 five five in their last 10. They're on a 3-game losing streak. They are 1-3 in their last 4. Wait, and for the Cardinals, forgive me, the, the six out of their last seven, the over has hit because the game they played today went under. I'm going to take the Cardinals with the money line. I'm going to take the Cardinals getting the runs, and I will go over in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.